keep hearing what my sister used to say at night when she was scared. Mommy, Daddy, come here. I need you. When there were no air raids in Nagasaki, we still loved to get fireworks. On the night before the bombs fell, sirens were going off and I couldn't get to the store. So we decided to use the sparklers we had. I mean, we were afraid, but we were still happy. Before the bomb fell, the sky was our friend. We used to dream about flying high up, higher than any B-29 bomber from America. The sky became a stranger to us. We couldn't look up anymore without worry. The bomb fell for 40 seconds before going off. Every move people made in those 40 seconds could mean life or death. I was down at the river swimming. It was a beautiful day. I mean, big clouds all over, bright blue above the harbor. All of a sudden, there was an airplane. I dove under the water. I thought a plane had crashed into the sun, crashed into the sun. Everything lit up, lit up, lit up. And at the same time, everything came falling down. Everything came falling down. The bomb blew you through the air. That's how it felt, at least. We all hoped that mommy or somebody would be there to catch us. But there was no one, there was no one. What is my sight? The biggest thing I ever saw. The biggest thing that ever was, was on the other side of the mountain. It looked hard and soft and alive and dead, it was all at the same time. It was beautiful and ugly too. It just kept getting taller and taller, and wider and wider, twisting and rolling around. I mean, the school was blackened, but it was still standing. There was not a single pane of glass in any of the windows. I looked into one of the classrooms. There was thousands of pieces of paper just, just whirling around like, like little butterflies, just in and out, in and out of the windows and up into the sky. I saw, I saw something coming down the road. It looked like a parade of... Roast chickens. Some of them kept pleading. Water. 
water. I wasn't burning anymore. I shivered. I saw five dead men, nearly naked. They must have died more or less at once, I guess. They were all working together to push the boat down into the river, and I lifted them away. I felt like I was preventing them from launching their fishing boat and going on their ghostly way. I said out loud to them, Please forgive me for taking your boat. I must use it for others who are alive. Mommy, Daddy, come here. I need you. Mm -hmm. My three-year-old brother with his arms and legs all wrapped in bandages. He used to run outside every time an airplane passed, shouting, give me back my sister. Give back my sister. Peachy, peachy, chop, chop, la, la, la. Before the bomb, we used to sing a little song whenever it rained. The song says, rain is falling, rain is falling. My mother is bringing my old umbrella. I'm so happy stomping in the puddles. But these raindrops were big and greasy. They made dark spots on my clothes. We were afraid of such a funny kind of rain and we ran inside. I said, Mommy will come soon and explain everything to us. We sat at the window where the tree used to be. But Mommy didn't come. After the bomb, the song changed. The sky changed. Everything changed. Sadaka lit a candle, and we all said our prayers, but we didn't fall asleep. When you see death, you're wiser somehow. I just wish I knew how. We say in Japanese, shikata ganai. That means, can't be helped. But it can be helped. It can be helped. In Hiroshima, there is a memorial to those who died, and a promise. It reads, Ayamachi wa urikai sanai heiwa yo. Rest in peace. Let this mistake not be repeated. But can we really promise that?